This week we're going to use a launcher to throw the balls or the bean bags. You may want to, with the bean bags, place them on the stage one after another once you use them in the launcher. You can create a launcher and use, like we did with placing cards, you can do that or you can just have them be in the same spot and you can use a counter and switch from one to two to three. I've made some significant changes in the code. Let me go over what's here. You'll see that I've deleted a bunch of stuff because all the things with the grabbing and releasing the mouse, or the mouse on the ball are gone. So we've got our hit for the boolean, which is false, our score, which is zero, this is there from before, and our start game, which is false. New is our pixel count, which I set to zero, and the variable down, which is set to false. I've created a launcher. Let me show you what this is going to do. This is my launcher. I have a red rectangle. I have a black rectangle. The black rectangle is a movie clip. If I click on it, now it's at this point it's just moving all the way down to the bottom. In the future it will only move down while we're pressing on it. So we can do some equations and get some different trajectories. So I have, I have named that movie clip launcher underscore MC. I've set it to a button mode of true so that I can click on it. And I've added an event listener for the mouse down, which calls down ball. Down ball starts the game and sets it down equal to true. We still have the event listener, still calling sticky ball because that's what I called it before. And if down is true and the pixel count is less than 50, and I figured out that that would not take it below the bottom by tracing the pixel count, you may need to do that yourself when you draw it and figure out it may not be 50 that you're less than, you want to make sure that it doesn't appear at the bottom of the red rectangle. I have the Y value plus equal 1. Remember that makes it move down the screen because 0, 0 is in the top left corner. And I have the ball also move down so they stay together. Then I add pixel count plus 1 so we get a number to work with. Then we got, jump into a start game equals true and we, all I've left in there is if we hit the buckets. That stayed the same. So again when I test this Right now, I just click on it once, I'm not holding it down. It goes down, but you don't see it appear at the bottom. In the next step, we'll be able to release it, which will launch the ball, and we'll do some math to figure out where it will fly to.